Welcome to Leader LED video training. Leader LED Display Solutions provides end-to-end -end digital signage solutions to customers of all sizes. Our solutions include large format modular LED display, multi-touch LCD interactive display, and cloud-based content management systems. This training video gives you a quick guide to help you manage your display devices and content using both PC-based software and cloud-based portal. For further details of more system functions or features, please refer to our user manual or contact our customer services. LED Show is a software package that provides full functionalities to manage your LED display terminal devices. Each leader LED display terminal device comes with a Linux-based cloud media player. The current models include 503, 505, 508, and 510. Among those models, 503 model is used for LCD terminal. 505 and 510 are asynchronous systems, and 508 supports dual modes. Users can switch between asynchronous mode and sync mode. The functionalities included in the LED Show software cover both digital media content management and terminal devices management. You can download the software from leaderled.ca forward slash customer dash services dot php. Once you download the file to your computer, you need to change the file name extension from dot eee -E to dot exe -E before you can install it. Now, let's install it to my computer. This software supports Microsoft Windows OS version 7, 8, and 10. Once you finish the software installation, you can launch the application by choosing Asynchronous Mode. Synchronized Mode is used to manage video wall and is out of the scope for this training video. The Async Mode is mostly used to manage both indoor and outdoor LED digital signs. Your computer's IP address for the wired connection needs to be reset to a static IP with the IP address 192.168.2.2. This is the default IP address for your computer to communicate with LED display terminal devices. First, let's learn how to use the LED show to set up an LED display terminal. Connect both your computer and your display terminal to your network switch or you can connect the terminal directly to your computer network port using a Cat5 cable. Launch LED Show and go to Option, and then click on Terminal Setting. A new Terminal Setting dialog window will pop up. Here you need to select which terminal you want to do setting if you have multiple LED display terminals. Each LED display terminal has a device nickname. You can use the find card function to rename the terminal. Just like a computer, you need to set up LAN IP, Wi-Fi IP, and Wi-Fi account if you want to use Wi-Fi connections, 3G state if you want to use 3G modem. Let's click on the network setting. For LAN IP, we'd recommend you use DHCP. Check with your IT manager to see if you must use a fixed IP address. Once you finish this part of the operation, don't forget to click on Update Config. 
If you want to connect your LED display terminal through Wi-Fi connection, then we need to configure the Wi-Fi setting. This will take two steps. The first step is to set up the Wi-Fi IP address, same as the LAN IP. We'd recommend you use DHCP for the IP address assignment. Then the second step is to configure the Wi-Fi account. You will need an SSID and a password. Also, the encryption mode to set up the Wi-Fi account. For Wi-Fi antenna mode, typically choose client mode for onboard antenna. You can also choose to use AP mode if you want to use an USB Wi-Fi adapter sold separately. Next important step is to set up the cloud server login ID and password for the terminal. The server IP address is 52.11.58.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
you can add another page after you complete the first page editing. Until you complete all your playlist editing. You need to save the playlist. Let's call the playlist New Demo. Now you are ready to send this newly created playlist to your display terminal. Click on Send and wait for a few seconds to let the playlist be transferred to your display terminal. The next demo will show you how to schedule a playlist on a display terminal. Now it is 3 p.m. Let's say we want the playlist we just created to be displayed on the terminal at 4 p.m. Go to Control and click on Schedule Table Setup. A new schedule setting window pops up. Click on Add to choose the cycle between daily or weekly. Please note that monthly is not available now. concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching.